Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is Season 7, Episode 8. We are more than halfway done with this last season. I am so sad it's ending soon. But last time we got to see Deke and Mac bond. We got to see Deke take care of Mac Daddy and Little Mac. The latter is a reference to a Super Smash Brothers character. And yeah, uh, it was really heartwarming to see Deke like that. And now that we're reunited and we're in the mid-80s... I wonder if we're going to take another jump or what we're going to do. I think we did hear last time that there was going to be like 20-something days until the next jump, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, they've got to take care of um, that drive that was taken to Nathaniel Malik, uh, who was confirmed to still be alive. And he probably still has Daisy's powers and has a, a handle on how to use them, which is scary. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how this all works out. If you want to watch the full reaction, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Oh, this is also airing on YouTube a couple days late because my channel was blocked, uh, was banned for a week because of a BS uh, community strike guideline. Anyway, yeah, let's get started. He needs to know that we're there for him. We'll be back in a few minutes. Now we get to see the other side. Oh. Dear. oh. What? Two, one, and jumped. I need another data point, but there may be a pattern to these jumps. Whoa. Why are we jumping at all? God dang, yo. How much time? It's September. You have 27 days until it's time to rendezvous back with the Zephyr, and I'll be standing right here. 27 okay, days is anyway. a long Good time. Luck. What? Oh, they jumped forward 27 days to find them just in time. Nice. Welcome back, everyone. You just left. Wow. That, that was that was really sweet, actually. Oh, this is so cool. We've lost control. Oh my god. Honestly, I have no idea. Everyone get off. Hey, the scientists from the future and I are on the same page. <laughs> Can't we just disconnect the fuel cell regulator? And it appears to disintegrate anything it touches. <laughs> of course so it does. So we need to find a way to slow down those pulses. Or move fast enough to go between them. That shrike hadn't taken away my power, then Wait, maybe... what can you do? Simmons, <laughs> do you have any other theory? <laughs> he has no idea. It's, I love this. I, but I just don't know enough about inhuman biology to... What about Daisy? Those. Daisy. Oh, you should be her arrested. mom. I'm okay. Jiaying hasn't gone... Jaying is at afterlife. Hasn't rip, been ripped, apart, ripped up yet. Can you stop her from being ripped apart? And he's being printed. Yo, I love this show so much. It's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Couldn't wait till I was all here. <laughs> no. Things are pretty dire right now. We make a wrong move. We can mess things up in the worst way yet. Worse than losing your parents? At least I'd already been born. Oh. That is true. That's true. This plan's pretty thin, man. Oh shit. Now sit down. I can feel you worrying from here. You can? I thought you needed to touch someone to do that. I picked up on you and Max um, <clears throat> reunion from mm -hmm. outside the room. Oh. Me, that's horrible. <laughs> well, it wasn't all bad. Oh. I'm invasive. Could wow. Could be useful with Daisy's mom though. Wasn't she a murderer? Only after Hydra cut her to pieces and left her for dead. Can we stop that from happening? Still. I can't believe we're going back to... Oh, this is amazing. Afterlife. Who we never came up with a cover story. Wow. Well, just try to keep it simple. Can't outrun Gordon! Has Nathaniel Malik done something to make this different? Wow, How do you know my name? Why does their Mandarin so odd? This is a diviner. Ah, uh, touch it. You're fine. If they touch it. But in him. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> it's a prosthetic. Oh. Oh. I was like, why is it going to Oh, yeah, right. Gordon's a kid here. She raised him. And then she turned. 
and he I turned with her. You, Elena. I'm just not sure how stabbing me with needles is gonna help me run fast again. It's just one part of the puzzle. Whoa. No. Whoa. Shadow Blade. I was curious to see if your friend made any progress. Right, no, stand back. It's gonna be a big surge of electricity. Electricity's dangerous, so. Do I look like a Neanderthal? <laughs> You spent like, time with the tribe of oh, Neanderthals. Oh my god. Sousa does not resemble one. He lacks the characteristic brow ridges. She's snoring. I hope you got some sleep. One of us did. What did the test say? <laughs> Was your theory correct? Nothing came up. I'm sorry, Elena, but your problem isn't physical. It's in uh, your mind. Wow. I'm not making this up. This is real. The fact that it's psychological doesn't make it any less real. Right. Can you feel her anxiety spiking? She noticed her noticing. Yeah, but how... You're not the first person I've met with an empathic gift. This gift may be the key to helping Elena. Wow. I looked out with we that, then. guide her on an exploration of her emotional past. <laughs> yeah, Elena. Yeah, no. Feelings are not exactly her <laughs> thing. They're really not. Oh my god, they are so out of their element. This is literally my worst nightmare. <laughs> Finally, we agree on something. I'll let you work it out on your own. Uh, they might need some guidance. Believe it or not, alone is worse. And you know, all I'm feeling from you is embarrassment. If physical contact will help, I have an idea. <laughs> oh. Nice. Oh. Can you imagine Jai Ying watching this? Oh, her killing Ruby. That was a tough call. I barely had time to think. I didn't know. Whoa, what was that one? I think we're finally getting somewhere. I was thirsty for a year and a half. With no way to, no body, no stomach, no food. Wow. Fear. Must have driven you crazy. Susa pulled me out of the wreckage. I'm glad he's here. That makes me happy too. Ever jumped out of an airplane before? Twice. Yes. Though I only had a parachute the second time. <laughs> In the event we do get stuck here, I thought you should have this. I put it together after you came on board. Oh. no? Si quieres pagar un precio diferente. That's Yo-Yo's cross from... Well, she yo-yoed back. Aww. I should stay still. Aww. Wow, what the You're heck? A child. She's nearly destroyed afterlife a dozen times. That's why we were so eager to help Elena. If there were a way to take away someone's gift, we had to know. And now she has a scan. You think she plans to use it for something good? She's afraid of what you'll do to she her. She wants to turn it on herself. No. Daisy's not here, is she? Is that Nathaniel Malik? Please tell me no. God. Dang it. My friends and I are about to go make some chaos. They're going after Afterlife now? I really want you to come with us. Wow. No. The mission hasn't exactly gone as planned. And now we'll find some way to be together again. Time. Space. It's never stopped us before. <laughs> Jai Ying, right? You've put Cora through enough. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, remember when I would read you stories? She had another sleep, daughter. What would I always say at the beginning? This is a prison, and I finally found my way out. I'm sorry, she's beyond help. Wait, no, stop! <laughs> uh. 
We won't let you fight this battle alone. We'll send coordinates to that watch when we're ready to meet. You should find some place to hide until then. Holy crap. Come on. Whoa, what the heck? Holy crap. I mean, they'll make it back, but then they can't even... Still no sign of the queen. She's yet. not... She's not fixed. Someone have another fix. We're a jump late, but we should still have enough time to dock with the Zephyr in the next window. We should? If I can land us on the first pass. Oh, that's... One shot. Flies on planes like a master. Holy crap. Dang. You're late. Is it's there an alternative? Fault. It is. That's all in my head. She's about to get through to her. You'll bounce back. Always you always do. Maybe I'm not supposed to. What? I don't have to bounce back. What? What? She doesn't have to... So she just has super speed now? She doesn't have to bounce back? Hot damn. You still gotta move. That thing will disintegrate you. Yeah, well, there we go. There we go. There we go. <sighs> she just has freaking super speed now. She's so much more powerful then. She kept bouncing back because... of a mental block to begin with? How'd you do that? I think I've always been able to. I was just holding myself back. Afterlife was the right call then. What the heck? Did he... He put it on. Holy crap. Always sitting here. Looking over her. What? It didn't work. What? Let's call it a redistribution of wealth. Take Stabby here. Did he ever do anything to deserve that power of his? Who lives, who dies? It's all who tells your story? A little something new. What's that? Anarchy? Wow. This might have been one of my favorite episodes uh, of the show. Because the, what the show does so great is just building on past, on the past, uh, on past episodes, um, and past seasons, past storylines. I mean, wow. I mean, we're brought back with Zha Ying, and then we get this added layer that she had a daughter before Daisy, which, I mean, she's... She's been around for a very, very, very long time, so it makes sense that... I guess it makes sense that she did have children before. Um, her previous daughter looks like she is full Asian, as opposed to Daisy, who is half Asian. Um, wonder if Stabby McGee was the father of this one? Or... probably not. They're, they seem too diametrically opposed, but anyway. Oh, wow. This episode was great. I mean, first we we saw how our team was going with uh, Deke and Mac missing, and then we were just jumping forward and forward. Um, I was wondering if there was a chance that Fitz was actually the one jumping them forward, because, um, I mean, it all did work out to get... Elena's powers back, and there's the added fact that the Chronicoms aren't done, so maybe we needed Yo-Yo's powers to be able to, uh, to I, don't, I don't know. But it, it also does seem like there was something wrong with the time drive also, so it, I don't know. It, it can't be both, I guess, right? It's kind of incredible that Yo-Yo had the power all along to just be super speed. Now she doesn't need to bounce back, she can just, can she just essentially just live in super speed all the time? And why was the why was she holding herself back before with the heartbeat? Is it something? I mean, that can be symbolic in a way because 
there is something that's pulling her back, and it has it's something to do with her heart, with her emotions. So that's that's really poetic in a way. Um, I mean, I always thought her power was really cool. Uh, just super speed, just bounce back as far as you can go in one heartbeat. She's she's faster than Quicksilver, I think. Yeah, she's definitely faster than. Actually, I don't know. Quicksilver wasn't able to dodge the bullets in Age of Ultron, and Elena wasn't able to dodge the bullets when she got in front of Mac. Um, no, she would have been able to dodge them. She tried to catch them out of the air to stop Mac from getting hurt. Um, so that's different. Uh, we had an awesome title screen. Uh, just the time shenanigans here. They She handed that over that watch that said, we're going to jump in 27 days. and uh, Or the next, we'll see you in 27 days. Because she figured out... Um, she figured out where they were going to jump to, when they were going to jump to. But in my mind, I actually, like, when we saw that last time, I didn't realize that there was something wrong with the time drive yet. Um, so I thought that the Zephyr was going to be there for 27 days. But in fact, they just jumped to 27 days later. Which, I mean, this, how did they come up with this? This is so well done. Oh, man. Uh, Daniel Sousa got a new leg, which... I actually forget. He has a prosthetic in Agent Carter, right? I don't know if we ever got a look at it. I, 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 it's been a while. I actually forgot. But he must have had a prosthetic uh, and not just a limp leg because, um, I mean, he would, took off his leg to put on the new one. Um, how did Simmons craft a new uh, prosthetic without him even knowing about it? Because she had to have, like, measured his leg or something. Uh, maybe she did it when he was under, uh, when Coulson had just brought him back on the ship. But, uh, yeah, fascinating episode with seeing Afterlife again. Uh, seeing Zhai Ying before losing, I mean, getting cut up to pieces. And, uh, I mean, this is so... I, I wonder if her other, his, her previous daughter losing it and siding with Gideon Malik with somebody who I mean his family is hiding in the shadows as shield so again she could possibly blame shield again for turning her daughter against her um I mean at least this time she won't be cut up like crazy but uh, I actually wonder if Daniel Whitehall will be taken out of this uh prison in this timeline because Nathaniel Malik is on the loose now he might just want he might just want to keep uh all these inhumans to himself and just i don't know have because he, he has he's perfected the technology or he was able to take daisy's power it took a while for him to get used to it but he's used it really really well uh we jumped forward what like f i don't even know how many years two years since he took those powers two and a half years maybe three and uh he was able to shake that gun apart quake that gun apart <sighs> i hope that Daisy isn't weaker than before. Uh, she was... Blood and spinal fluid was taken back. I know blood can be replenished through your blood marrow. Blood, blood marrow? Yeah. But I don't know if your spinal fluid can be replenished. I don't know if she's going to be weaker going forward. Um, hopefully, she isn't. And uh, it definitely feels like we're going to get a face-off between her and uh, Nathaniel Malik at some point. Maybe next episode. I do know, actually, that uh, Gemma Simmons, what's her actress's name? Elizabeth Henstridge is directing the next episode. Uh, I tuned into a like a live stream of her talking about, like, a, I don't know what exactly, but I caught the moment where she said she's directing the next episode, and it's actually very Daisy-centric. Centric. So maybe Daisy uh, goes after uh, Nathaniel Malik. Seems like Sousa is going to be at her side. Um... I think they are kind of setting up this romantic thing here, uh, especially with that conversation between Daisy and Coulson about uh, glad he's here. Um, so who knows? Uh, don't know if I'd be the happiest with that. I think Daisy being alone, I think it's okay to be alone. Um, like it's an okay ending for characters. Um, and I don't know if she had to end up with someone. Sousa is not a bad choice whatsoever. He is awesome. Um, and he had he lost Peggy to Captain America when he came back to the past at the end of Endgame. Don't know if that's canon uh, for this timeline, but I don't know. Anyway, 
Uh, we got to see Gordon again um, as a young man and see what he's really... I mean, this is Afterlife maybe 30, almost 40 years ago. Almost 40 years before uh, Daisy ever got there. And, I mean, there's so much that's different. Um, I don't know how they're going to... It's impossible to fix the timeline now unless they go back even further. Oh, yeah. So, uh, the moment where Elena touches the uh, diviner, <laughs> I was just like, yeah, she's... She's touching it. It's fine. It's fine. And then I was like, "Wait, it's not glowing." In my head, in my head, I was like, "It's not glowing." And then she was like, "It's a prosthetic." All right. I was like, "Oh yeah." And then she touched it to her face, proving she's inhuman. That was a really great moment. Um, <laughs> you kind of forget. Um, I mean, with prosthetics like those, you kind of forget that she lost both her arms, and uh, the fact that she's been racked with guilt ever since she was a child. I mean. That's really, I mean, her uncle died when they were running away. She took that cross, which we know that cross is the one that gets passed back and forth because it. We, we've seen it, we saw it in the Quinjet before the Quinjet blew up uh, throughout the third season. Um, but yeah, that was, the, that was the cross in the Quinjet when it blew with Lincoln and Ward in it. <sighs> wow. Who knew that that cross would have such a backstory? I mean, this is just in incredible. Wow. There's so much in this season that's just mind-blowing. I was actually a little afraid that Nathaniel Malik had gotten to Jai Ying before, um, but I guess he waited until his powers were fully fleshed out, and until this moment where uh, Jai Ying's previous daughter uh, was on the verge of killing herself. Um, yeah, Sybil really knows knows what she's doing here, and I can only hope that our team can stop them in the future. And give a word to da Jai Ying, just somehow let her not get torn to pieces, maybe be a force for good in the future. Imagine them arriving back, imagine them arriving back in the real time where she and Cal have had their daughter, or I don't know, because then, wouldn't there be two daisies? I don't even, I'm not even sure how it would work. But, uh, yeah, imagine being able to go back to the real time, Daisy going back to the real time and being able to co connect with her parents um, in, before they, without them ever going through that trauma, without them becoming monsters, both of them. That would be something else, too. Uh, super funny seeing... <laughs> I don't know why I suddenly thought of this, but super funny seeing Coulson uh, getting his legs printed while the episode was happening. <laughs> He's just like, oh, you couldn't have woken me up later? Uh, <laughs> that was super funny. Um, May being able to sense whatever things that's going on. Uh, Zhai Ying being able to tell immediately, almost. Uh, I mean, I don't think that... I think May was pretty good with keeping that secret, but Zhai Ying could still tell anyway. Uh because she's spent so much time with people and understands them. And she didn't judge Mei for not being inhuman. She was just... she's. We saw a different side of Jai Yang here. Instead of the one that was duplicitous and scared and everything. Very cool uh, quirk. I almost said quirk. Inhuman ability by the knives guy. Just being able to flick knife, like blades in and out of his hands. I have to imagine that it's not specifically... I, I have to imagine that his immune, human ability isn't specifically to make knives appear in either hand. It has to be uh, being able to summon things in your hands, right? Or maybe, possibly, he can put away certain items in like an, another dimension and be able to re reach out for them whenever he wants. Um, those blades look really cool, though. So, I don't know how I'm going to go on without this show. This... There were moments where I was like, oh, like this show, this another show I'm watching might actually surpass this as my favorite. Um, but I mean, Game of Thrones came close, and then uh, my favorite show before Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was Castle. And by the end of season two, uh, Castle was on the downturn already. Season two, end of season two, was some of the best TV I had ever seen. And so Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has been my favorite ever since then. 
Uh, really love the scenes where uh, Jia Ying said it was something in their mind, and Mei and uh, Elena had to uh, get cozy with each other, put like have physical touch, and uh, yeah, that was really cute and sweet, and also totally out of character for all of them to both of them to be in that situation. Um, so I did really, really appreciate that they turned it into a fight where they sensed what what was wrong with Elena. Um, but yeah, all that guilt. Uh, so all along, she's been able to go... Her true inhuman ability has been to just be super speed. But the turmoil within her heart made her bounce back all the time. And I wonder what stopped her from being able to bounce back, though. Huh. It's interesting because, yeah, when they were first saying, like, there's some mental tort turmoil inside her, and then we flash back to, like, the earliest memory, and I was like, wait, this comes from that? But she's been able to use her power despite having that mental turmoil, like, all along. And uh, we flash back to some of Elena's earlier uh, moments in the series, killing Ruby. She felt guilt over that, which, I mean, I don't know if it was the right move at the moment. She was, Ruby was a danger to everyone in that moment. But, uh, remembering the Shrike going into her, this episode is, oh, this season is so, so good. I can't, it feels like such a treat. Like, at the end of season five, I was very sad but um, that it was ending, but I felt like they had wrapped it up really, really well. Um, but, uh, now I'm really glad they went on because this is so masterful. It's incredible. I uh, really want to see Nathaniel Malik get taken down. He has caused a ton of trouble. And it seems like it's too late for uh, Zha Ying's daughter, whose name I somehow for Korra, Korra. Which, uh, I mean, the only other person I've ever heard called Korra is Korra from Legend of Korra. Um, this one, it's actually interesting. She has the same avatar state eyes, right? The explosive eyes. Um... Oh yeah, Maze docking the plane in one go was really, really cool. She kicks butt. She kicks so much butt. Um, it's nice seeing Mei and Yo-Yo go after each other. I guess Yo-Yo isn't a, isn't a good uh, name anymore since her power isn't bouncing back. It's actually just super speed. Uh, what's her last name? Elena... Let me see. Elena, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yo-Yo Rodriguez, right? Elena Rodriguez. Uh, uh, what 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 can what is a good nickname for Yo-Yo now that she's not a Yo-Yo? Huh. Uh, there's a uh, who is I know I know there I know the name Speedy Gonzalez, but I'm not sure what that's from. Let me look that up. Is that a character from something? Oh yeah, it's that rat thing. Okay. Uh, so how about Speedy Rodriguez? That would be pretty cool, right? Speedy. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, Yo-Yo doesn't work anymore. What do you guys think of Speedy Rodriguez? But uh, yeah, seeing her be able to just zoom past. Uh, if they called her Zoom somehow, that would be ridiculous because with the rise of the Zoom app, or app, the Zoom video conferencing thing, uh, it'd be pretty coincidental if they named her, renamed her Zoom after, uh, or before the lockdown even happened. Because they shot all of this before then, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Next week... Uh, Colson had to turn himself off. Next week, hopefully we get to deal with Nathaniel Malik. Hopefully we get a reunion between Daisy and Zha Ying. Even though this Zha Ying has not even given birth to Daisy yet. Uh, I don't even know how that will change now that uh, her other daughter, Korra, um, became so destructive. And Nathaniel wants to take all these powers and give them to other people. I don't know if he just wants to give them to himself. He could become... Oh my god, he could become Ada. Do you remember how Ada had like all these... When she printed herself, she printed herself with a whole bunch of inhuman abilities. If Nathaniel Malik is trying to do that, if he's trying to infuse himself with a ton of inhuman abilities, that could be quite uh, horrible. And at the end there, um, Enoch... And I think Enoch was talking to who, exactly? Deke. They jumped forward again, even though the thing wasn't in the thing. Um, I don't know who's in charge of that. Maybe Fitz? Hopefully Fitz? Um, assuming they didn't jump too far forward. 
and they can still deal with a Nathaniel Malik. Hopefully that's the case. Ah, uh, Cora. I feel... Oh yeah, one, one last thing. I really, really love the way they uh, edited this um, this episode. Because it was just... You, we got to see uh, the team on the Zephyr jump in. Like We got to see their scenes when they were taking place. So it was just cutting back and forth at great, great moments. We knew exactly what was going on. That was just genius, honestly. I've never seen anything like this where... Uh, we see one team just jumping forward in time, whereas one other t- part of the team is just there. Um, really, really great. I'm really, really impressed. All right, guys. Uh, not much more to say. I think that's the bulk of it. Is this guy? Is this your favorite season, guys? Because it's pretty darn close. Ghost Rider season was really, really great, especially that uh, those last few episodes where they were in the framework. Um, Ghost Rider came back. Oh, if, if, please let us see Ghost Rider one more time in this in season seven. That would be so so good. I know they were making a Ghost Rider TV show, but I think I heard it got canceled. Let us see Robbie Reyes one more time somehow, and let us. Oh, that'd be so great. Or I, I wouldn't mind if they didn't show us show him again. Um, my number one hope is just that these characters at the end of the series are able to somehow go back into the MCU, the movies, or even the other TV shows. I don't care. Just put them somewhere where we can... I don't want to be without these characters. Um, yeah, like forever. I, I want. I need to see them again. Uh, especially since we haven't even seen Fitz for eight episodes this season. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done talking. Uh, I'm done talking about this episode. <sighs> if you guys want to watch the full reaction, uh, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like. really, really helps out the channel. And uh, vote for Speedy Rodriguez. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Hopefully we'll get a new nickname next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, friends.